Now we're ready to move into step 15.3. 15.3 is all about deleting rows and columns. In step 15.2, you learn how to insert rows and columns. And now we need to know how to delete rows and columns. So the first thing we're going to do is click in cell 204 right here and press delete three times. Notice that when you press delete, it simply deletes the contents, but your cell remains intact. So if you wanted to replace it with another number, you simply could. But we don't. What we want to do is delete the whole row. So there is a difference. Either you can delete the contents or you can delete the whole row. Now, if you click right outside this mouse, outside this table, and you get this white arrow like you see, and click, it'll automatically insert the entire row for you. If you move up to your delete button and drop down on that arrow key, you have four options. We will select delete rows. Now, always remember guys that if you are trying to delete a row, make sure you have a row selected and you select delete rows. It's very um, common to get rows and columns confused, so make sure you select exactly what you want to delete and you delete it. So we have our row selected and now we will delete rows and it's gone. Notice that whole row has disappeared and weightlifting that was under that row shifted up. Alright, so the next thing that we will do is select the two blank rows and excuse me I um, I'm not even going to select the whole rows I'm just I'll just simply select two cells from each row and go to delete and delete rows and it does the exact same thing now remember we learned how to insert so let's select 40 minutes let's select 30 and 40 minutes and insert to the right so we have two new rows inserted to the right. But then if we wanted to delete those rows, then you would simply select the rows, and, I'm, I'm sorry, columns and delete. And they're gone. Now, if you mess up, always remember that undo is your friend. We had extra spaces in our table that we deleted, and we also deleted a whole row because we decided that we wasn't going to go my mountain biking this week. So this is what our existing t modified table looks like because we've learned how to um, delete rows and columns. You just finished step 15.3. Save your document, but leave it open for step 15.4. So now we're ready for step 15.4, which we will learn how to adjust column width and row heights. But again, the first thing we will do is save calories 3 as calories 4. And make sure you are in your print layout view. So click on view tab and just verify that your print layout view is toggled on. And in the view group, in the view tab, you're going to click on your zoom group, your page width button. Now, if you notice when you click on the page width button, it kind of adjusts your page a little bit. Now you're going to position your, your insertion point in the first cell within your table, which should be a blank cell here. And click on your table tool layout tab. And in the cell size group, which is here, move the insertion point to the first cell in the fourth row walking. Pay attention to the cell size group. So 
put your insertion point here and notice that the height and width numbers um, change to reflect the size of this cell. If I click in downhill skin, notice that my height and width change to reflect the size of that cell. Now, the next thing we're going to do is manually adjust our cell sizes because that's another option um, when you're working in a table to manually adjust. So say for example we did not want our text here to overlap. If you move your mouse in between the boundaries of the cell, if you look here closely, you notice that I get the double ed the double sided arrows. Once you get the double sided arrows right there on that boundary, you simply click it and you see an, a dotted line and drag it. Now, notice that I was able to adjust this cell size, but it reduced the size of my 20 minutes column. So that's actually one way to work in your table. And, and I can adjust the next column the next column until it's exactly how I want it to be. Go ahead and undo to go back to the original table. And this time we're going to actually auto fit our um, text, which is another option. So if click on auto fit. And notice you have three options on auto fit. The first thing we're going to do is auto fit our contents. Notice that when we select auto fit contents, it basically took all of the cells that were overlapping and auto fitted on one line to fit within your table. So it auto fit all of your text within your table for you. Drop back down on auto fit area arrow and this time we're going to select auto fit window. Then notice when you select this option it expands your table across the window of your document to expand on the whole page. Click on the page layout tab and select your orientation landscape. Notice that as our page got wider our auto fit table got even wider to accommodate the landscape size of the page. Go back to your orientation and select portrait. And again, the auto fit window changed to accommodate the portrait size. Now, let's go back to our table tools layout and you're going to click the select button and then select table. So here's your select button. Drop down and select um, table. In the cell size group, you're going to click select table and when you go to select and select table, it simply allows you to select all of your text in your table. Now, move over to table row height box, which is right here, and we are going to change the row height to 3, increase it to 3, and notice that when you did so, it increased the height of your table to give more room within your table. So click out, deselect your text by clicking out of your text, and notice that, go back in your table, and notice that your height and your width changed for your table. So we just learned how to um, work with the height and width of our table by 
going to auto fit and looking at auto fit contents and windows remember contents will adjust your table to fit perfectly your contents and auto fit window basically focuses on the size of your document and adjust your table based on that we also looked at row height and width here and manually made some changes we went to select selected our ent entire row and worked in our height and width you've con successfully completed step 15.4 save Keep it open to move into calories five.